Hello and welcome to the tutorial for the Set CBush Orientation Perpendicular tool presented by Engineering Tools. This script sets the CBush's x-axis parallel to its length, where the length is the line from node 1 to node 2. To use this script, you'll need a model with at least one CBush. Here I have a model containing many CBushes. I've used the Offset Plate Element by Normal tool to offset this section here so we can easily see these CBushes. We will focus on this one on the end here, whose orientation is not yet specified. To run the script, enter the Engineering Tools section of the toolbar, select the Element menu, and select Set CBush Orientation Perpendicular. Next, I'll choose the entities I would like to run the script on. If you accidentally select any non-CBush entities, the script will skip over them. After making my selection, I'll click OK. Once the script is finished, the CBushes will be oriented such that their x-axes are parallel to the length between nodes 1 and 2. Here's a graphic showing the orientation of the YZ plane after the tool was used. As you can see, the tool will orient the CBush so that the YZ plane is normal to the direction of the CBush. The script sets the YZ plane to be normal to the length, but if you would like to specify the direction of the Y and Z axes, you must do that manually. Setting the YZ plane normal to the length is very useful for determining the forces on the CBush. This tool can be used alongside the CBush Forces to Excel script to get a full list of all the forces across a set of CBushes. This has been a tutorial for the Set CBush Orientation Perpendicular tool presented by Engineering Tools. Thank you for watching.